to start the day. Just took my hair out of my bun. <laughs> it's defying gravity right now. Okay, I have like 10 minutes to get ready for the day. <laughs> so, can I wash my face, brush my teeth, and do my hair in 10 minutes? Stay tuned to find out. Uh, like, I wanted to look super cute for this video today, but honestly, <laughs> this is the reality nine times out of 10. I'm rushing out the door. I've spent too much time reading and writing. And now I'm on a time crunch, and that's just, that's just how it goes. I haven't combed my hair in like four days, and I know it looks like it, so I gotta fake the funk. This morning, I am TAing, and then I have like a lunch break, and then I have class for three hours. So Wednesday is my busiest day. That's why I chose to record it, because I thought it would give you like the best sense of what life is like as a PhD student. It's just a lot of running around, trying to accomplish a lot of reading in a virtually impossible amount of time. <laughs> That's not too bad for where we started. <laughs> Did that in like three minutes. Onwards and upwards. I'm giving Harriet Tubman a little bit this morning, but you know, it's on brand. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, we're not done. Okay, how about we do these little flowers? They match the yellow in the Ujima. Oh, you know what we can do too? We can put a little, a little something here so it doesn't look so basic. Does that make it worse or better? Worse, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't have any hats. That, that's gonna be stupid. You know what? We're gonna have sunglasses on our head. Oh, uh, Kenji left a turn on the ground and I just stepped in it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> you freaking hellion. All right, well. Okay, luckily I have another pair of socks. I need to leave literally right now. I guess the kind of nice thing about wearing a mask all day every day in class is that I don't really have to do my makeup anymore. Cause no one's really gonna see my face, you know? that cannot himself say 
that there is wide, rampant social separation between the races on this campus. Like, that's my job, right? So I feel like it wouldn't be very professional for me to be like, hey everybody, I'm making a video for my YouTube channel. And then for class, you know, it's just us talking about nerdy stuff. So maybe one of these days I'll be able to bring you into class, but for now, that's what it is. I'm gonna make some dinner now. My camera is dying, so I'm gonna recharge it, watch the circle, and then do some reading. The day never ends when you are a craft student because there's always more reading to do. my packages I mostly ordered like hair products cuz I want to braid my own hair I don't but I got like these things for your hair you like those hey cutie I got these things where you can like roll your hair and basically like kind of stretch it out pull it out without using heat which is good cuz I don't use any heat on my hair I bought a, a zebra plant and it's already dying and I literally bought it three days ago. So I got this mini humidifier, but it's so fucking cute because it's a cactus and it matches his little scratching posts. You see, continuity of theme, very important. Life hack, if you don't have keys on you, you can use a pen to open your packages. They bent it. This is my wallpaper for my bathroom, which I'm really excited about. I'm about to wallpaper the heck out of this apartment, okay? It's gonna be unrecognizable. For the last two months, I've been working on my like, apartment makeover video. Getting in the final stages. The, the apartment has all of its bones, and now at this point, all I have to do is sort of zhuzh, you know? This is some braiding hair that I got. I don't know if that's the same color. I feel like it's a little lighter than my natural hair, but... I bought it so we're gonna work with it. And then I also got this like shower speaker because I shower in the mornings and when I'm showering I like to listen to stuff. Like I'm listening to a podcast or to the news or something like that. Like I'm never just doing one thing at a time. I'm always multitasking. If I'm cooking I'm also watching a show. If I'm taking public transit I'm also reading or listening to something. So you know that translates also to my morning shower time. So I got this shower speaker because I bring my phone into the bathroom, but the shower's running and it's so loud that I, I can't hear what's coming out of my phone. So this is a waterproof shower speaker. I hang it on my little shoe doo in my shower, and then I can listen to my stuff and hear it loud and clear in the morning, which is super exciting. So I think this will be really great. Okay, and then the very last thing that I got were some hair beads. <laughs> This is mad disrespectful though. Why does it say love kids, kids love? These are clearly not intended for adults, but it does say three and up. So technically I meet that criteria. <laughs> my thought behind these was, you know, as I experiment more with my braids and stuff, if I do smaller braids, maybe I could put a few like small beads at the end of them. Honestly, I'm sure you can tell by the state of my hair today and the fact that I haven't combed it. <laughs> In a couple days, like I'm just kind of tired of, uh, of doing my hair. I need a break, you know, after a lifetime of like primping and preening and combing and whatever, pretty much nonstop. I just don't feel like doing it anymore, but I feel like that's not the socially acceptable thing to say. And I was actually listening to this podcast today, uh, very on brand, from the Red Table Talk, where they were talking about precisely this because Jada Pinkett Smith, if you know who she is, I'll put a photo up or something, she recently shaved her head. 
and it, you know, it's kind of been a big controversy. And so she was discussing, you know, with Gammy and Willow and Tiffany Haddish, who was the guest appearance, like how freeing it is to just shave your head. And oh, I came through today because, you know, I heard you was talking about cutting that hair off. Yeah. So what made you do that? During that, that pandemic time, the beginning of the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. I think it's so inspiring that your man was like so supportive of you. Cause I feel like a lot of women feel like, oh, like I must keep my like my femininity yeah. and my like. And they have to have the hair that blows in the wind. Yeah, in the wind. Blows in the wind. But if you so wanted my to blow in the wind, me. you can go pull a wig out the closet. Yeah. And now all my wigs fit real Feel good, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Look like they growing out my head. Yeah. What you want tonight? You want Becky tonight? What exactly. you need? You want Becky with the good hair? I got you, baby. I got you. I don't know that I'm feeling brave enough to shave my head quite this moment, but I definitely think there's something to be said for this idea of like relinquishing the respectability politics that is so that comes with like having long hair and also the kind of texture that you have, right? Like there's this whole problematic discourse in the black community about quote unquote good hair and bad hair, which obviously is a farce, is problematic, is not something that I co-sign. But I think, you know, being in a position of relative privilege where I do have, you know, maybe 3B, 3C hair, I have this lighter complexion and all these things. It's like, I say I have these radical politics, but then I'm unwilling to like, shave my head or I'm unwilling to lock my hair or I'm unwilling to really even braid my hair or experiment that much because I feel like I have to stay within the confines of this like respectability that is linked to a specific and limiting kind of femininity. Like I cannot say I have these radical politics but I'm so afraid to rock the boat that I won't even try something new with my hair. And that is something that should excite me, not scare me. Okay, <laughs> I guess I had to go on at least one grad student rant so this is... <laughs> This is my academic side showing. That's the haul. Clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up. Mm -hmm.